We ride shotgun with Santa, next! CapeCast! Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for December 11th. We go behind the beard for a groundbreaking interview of the jolly old elf in the second half of the show. But first, let's take a look at news. Cape and Islands District Attorney Michael O'Keefe has asked state police detectives to review what happened to the surveillance videotape that allegedly implicates a member of the notorious Rainey family in a tire slashing incident. John Rainey's defense attorney said he could not get the tape to work, which led to the case being dropped. In the Land Lots of Land Department, several Outer Cape towns are exploring ways to gain access to thousands of town-owned acres contained within the Cape Cod National Seashore. Last week, Wealthley Town Meeting authorized $55,000 to figure out how to gain access to a 46-acre landlocked parcel within the park. In international news, Al Gore received the Nobel Peace Prize yesterday for his campaign against global warming, and of course, Cape Cass was at the ceremony in Oslo, Norway, where we shot this footage of Gore's peculiar acceptance speech. The earth has a bunion, and the bunion is painful. The podiatrists have told us it is a giant bunion, and we need special shoes. Very big, very special shoes. Thank you. We turn now to an in-depth interview with another jolly man on a mission. Welcome to Cape Cass Christmas Theater. Today we take a look back, way back to 2006, to a video by ace videographer Kevin Dennehy. He was lucky enough to talk to Santa Claus. Let's watch. How do I deliver two and a half million toys in one night? I just, UPS and FedEx would love to know how I do that, but they just haven't come up to Santa's price. So. <laughs> I just can't let that out. for iPods, a um, whole bunch of different video games. Um, for unusual requests, there's the occasional adult asking for a car. Lexus seems the most popular with that crowd. You know, go for the gold. I mean, you, you know, and you, can, you always start out in negotiation asking for more than you expect. You can start out asking for a new Lexus and maybe get an 87 Yugo. Is it, is it hard being a celebrity? We, you know, we always hear celebrities whine about how everyone knows right. them in public. Let's see, celebrity, let's see. I, I've had meals compensated when I've gone out to restaurants. When I've gone to Hooters, they usually want me to pose for a wait sta uh, group picture with the wait staff sitting on my lap and get them all over me. Uh, the dry cleaners has done my suit several times for free because they said they can't charge Santa. So, yeah. Which one is that? Well, it's Dasher, but Dasher. And, you know you can't photograph Rudolph because his nose glows and just washes out the picture. It's like red eye. Yeah, there's my uh, pilot's license. Shows I'm rated on single reindeer sleigh, multi reindeer sleigh, and instrument instructor. He's the real deal. Yes. Now let's slide on over to the world of sports in the backboard jungle of girls high school basketball. Cape Cod Academy stymied Cape Tech 50 to 20 last night. Okay, let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by a video from McGuire Landing Beach in Wellfleet. For tonight, rain likely mainly after 9 p.m., cloudy with a low around 41. For Wednesday, rain likely mainly before 9 a.m., cloudy through mid-morning, then gradual clearing with a high near 53. Hey folks, don't forget the Cape Cast Wicked Cute Pet Contest running through December 19th. Send your cute pet pic to CapeCast at CapeCodOnline.com. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been CapeCast for December 11th. Till next time, see ya! CapeCast! Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, carrying his bag.